Hey guys, today I want to go through some simple concepts, some simple equations of electrical circuits, and、uh, hopefully this will aid you guys with starting a、uh, series of tutorials, which I'm going to make about the Arduino、uh, robotics system. So. What we're gonna do is start off by introducing to you guys some simple equations that we will understand by the end of some tutorials. Okay, so the first equation is I equals Q over T. Okay, that's the first equation. I'll obviously explain what all this means in a second. Um, so I equals Q over T, and then we will also understand that V is equal to W over Q, and finally we will also introduce you to the equation V equals I R. So if you know the exact meaning of all of these、uh, equations, then I guess you can skip. A few,、uh, the first tutorial at least. So let's start off with the first equation. I equals Q over T. Okay, let's start off with this one. So what does this equation mean? Well, let's write out what each of the symbols mean. Okay, let's start off with I is equal to the current. And I guess you can say the electric current, which is measured in amps.、Uh, we will talk about the units of measurement in one second. Okay, so I'll also explain what the current is in a second. So don't worry if you don't understand anything at this point in time. So Q is equal to the Um, how should I put this? The quantity of charge, quantity of charge, and it is measured in coulombs. C. Okay,、uh, and then I have T is the simplest. Measurement, which you guys would already know,、uh, is equal to time in、uh, seconds. Okay, now let's explain what current is, what charge is, and all that stuff. Okay, so firstly, firstly we have、uh, in a circuit, in an electric circuit. So let's say we have a battery. Okay, we have the longest terminal is the positive terminal, the shorter terminal is the shorter line is the negative terminal, and we have a circuit, and we usually have some components such as、uh, a light bulb and a resistor, and we go back to the the battery. Okay, so this is a very simple、uh, electric circuit, and if you can imagine, okay, within the wires, okay, so this is the wire connecting the components together. So let's get a wire and let's zoom into it. Let's zoom into that wire and look at it from a side perspective. Okay, so that's. This part, okay. I'm gonna write it out from a side view, okay. And we're looking inside the wire. And what's happening inside the wire is that there are all these electrons moving around. There are all these electrons moving around in the direction of. Um, arrows indicate where they're moving. 
Okay, and they're just moving um, around uh, in a in a random, I guess, sort of movement. Okay, but um, the function of the battery, okay, is to push these electrons, is to push these electrons from, um, I guess, the negative terminal towards the positive terminal. So the electrons are moving in this direction okay very slowly but they are moving in this direction from the negative terminal towards the positive terminal so if you draw let's say a line okay a line down here and I guess the current the current is the rate of flow of um, electric charges okay now what are electric charges well if you can imagine all of these electrons okay so these things are electrons these things are electrons right that's these things are all electrons and one electron carries carries one point 1.602 times 10 to the power of negative 19 coulombs of charge okay so that is not a lot of charge okay because you can imagine electrons are very small so um, the amount of charge that is carried by an electron is very very small so if we want to simplify our calculations when we're dealing with circuits where there are uh, n number of electrons flowing right we have a new unit well we've already talked about it but one coulomb okay one C one coulomb equals the charge carried by um, 6.25 times 10 to the power of 18 electrons okay if you're not familiar with uh, scientific notation basically when you are multiplying by 10 to the power of something you move the decimal point that many places to the right okay so that will be how many electrons six two five and then another sixteen zeros All right. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's 16. Um, this many electrons, this many electrons carry um, one coulomb, one coulomb of charge. Okay, so you can imagine, okay, all these um, electric charges, the negative charges, right flowing in this direction in the wire okay so because we're looking at we're looking at the side view of the wire okay we're looking at the side view of the wire and the current I mean sorry the electrons okay are going from the negative to towards the positive so we are calculating uh, basically how many electrons 
or how many negative charges flow past this point or any point in the circuit per second. Okay, so therefore I have I is equal the current is equal to how much charge flows past one point at a particular point in time. Okay, and it doesn't matter which point you pick in the circuit. This is a series circuit. Uh, it will always be um, the same. The current will always be the same. So let's do a simple mathematics problem. Okay, so I want you guys to try out this problem um, using the equation that I've given you. Okay, find the size of the current. So the current is the symbol I. Find the size of the current flowing through a wire when 1.2 coulombs of charge, so 1.2 coulombs is Q, when 1.2 coulombs of charge passes a point in the wire in 3 seconds. So 3 is obviously the time. Okay, so use the equation, get it done, come back when you are ready to see the answer. So I is equal to Q over T, which is equal to 1.2 over 3. And the answer is... You guessed it, 0 0.4 um, amps. 0 0.4 amps. And actually, I'm just going to add on what 1 amp is. 1 amp, 1 amp is equal to the rate of flow of one coulomb per second. Okay, because if you guys imagine, okay, if I is equal to Q over T, right, and Q was equal to one and T was equal to one, then I would be equal to 1. Okay, 1 coulomb per second. I guess you can write it like that. So what does the 0 0.4 in this case mean is that we can basically replace uh, the number 1 with 0 0.4. So this means 0 0.4 Coulombs passes through a point uh, per second. Okay, so hopefully, this tutorial helps you to understand that first equation that we gave you guys. Uh, this video is probably getting too long for another two equations, so gonna go through that in the next tutorial.